It's the 2001 draft and the NBA is about to be changed forever. That's right, the lamest man in NBA history is about to get drafted. Now, if you don't know, a couple years back, 2K16, Rise and Shine, sung by J. Cole, played on the soundtrack 24-7. And in that song, J. Cole straight up says, Brother, you're lame, you're Shane Battier. So I figured, hey, what if Shane Battier wasn't lame? What if J. Cole didn't think he was a loser? To this day, I don't think anybody knows why he called Shane Battier lame, but it don't matter. So that's today's video what if Shane Battier wasn't lame now this simulation is gonna go all the way to the year of 2016 and once we get to 2016 in simulation then we are gonna do something a little bit different which you'll see later in the video enough with the explanation it's time for the draft it's time to see where Shane is ending up Gilbert Arenas goes to the Warriors he's overpowered in 2k the Cavs are trading away their second overall pick for Dikembe Mutombo in the third pick to draft Shane Battier and the Cavs end up drafting Kendrick Brown who's not a real person but hey it's okay Jermaine Cole is going to the Houston Rockets that's all we care to see well the Hawks are quite awful it's just Jason Terry and Shane so it's gonna be a while till they're good and the Rockets aren't great either. They got Danielle Marshall, Steve Francis, and J. Cole. Both teams are pretty rough, but maybe I'll get proven wrong. Maybe J. Cole is the GOAT. Maybe a non-lame Shane Battier is the GOAT. Your MVP of the very first season is none other than Shaquille O'Neal, Mr. Oatmeal, 27, 13, and 2. I don't know if anyone's ever called him Mr. Oatmeal, but I'm calling him Mr. Oatmeal. Rookie of the year is Mr. Shane. I mean, this is what happens when Shane Battier isn't lame. He averages 26 points, 10 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 steals two blocks but Jermaine Cole J. Cole the rapper that guy you know the man who insulted Shane Battier and is the reason this video is even a thing yeah he averaged 22 and 9 as a rookie he's not as good as Shane or maybe he's better because Shane didn't make playoffs but the Rockets did J. Cole what you gonna do oh sweep Sacramento Kings are garbage anyway who we playing now the Dallas Mavericks with Dirk and Steve Nash might be a little bit difficult but you know what J. Cole I believe in you you got a couple albums they win in seven I don't know what albums have to do with him winning in the NBA but go along with it. It's the Western Conference Finals and the Houston Rockets are down 3-2 to the Los Angeles Lakers. This Lakers team though, it does not have Kobe Bryant. It has Shaquille O'Neal and Ray Allen. Can we come back down in this game six? Can we force a game seven? Can J. Cole? No, no, we can't. J. Cole sucks. He loses by 20 and the New Jersey Nets sweep the Lakers. Keith Van Horn is your finals MVP and we're on to season two. Kevin Garnett wins MVP, 26 points, 13 rebounds. Shout out to the big ticket. Those are some big numbers. I don't know if Shane Battier broke his back or a leg or maybe he quit basketball, but he's not on any All-NBA team. J. Cole is here though with the Houston Rockets averaging 24 points at 9 Assist and two steals. This season, Shane Battier and the Hawks were a third seed playing better than Houston. And don't worry, Shane still had a solid season. 24 points, 10 rebounds, two assists, two steals, and two blocks. Will we ever see J. Cole and Shane Battier match up in the NBA Finals? Eh, I doubt it because the Rockets just got eliminated. The Hawks, on the other hand, they move on in six. Now they are taking on the former champion. Did we just come back down 3 0? Excuse me? Game one, we lost in overtime and they won that game. And then we lost the second game and that we just came back down 3-0. What's crazy is in game one was probably Shane Battier's best performance, 37 and 8. He also had a 35-point game and a 40-point game. All the games that Shane Battier played really well in, we actually lost. So maybe he doesn't need to be the superstar of the team, but just play pretty much decent and we win? I don't know. Can we beat Detroit Pistons? They're currently up 2-1. I believe they still have a really solid roster. Does this say God Sham God? How did God Sham God get in the league? I downloaded a 2000 and 2000 2001 season scenario so I could get straight to Shane Battier's drafts. I didn't think God Sham God was in the game. So the Detroit Pistons don't have a good team. They have Sham God and Jerry Stackhouse. We could beat them. If we don't beat them, then they're probably going to put us on an and one mixtape or something. Can we move on to the finals? And we do. And in only his second season, Shane Battier is in the NBA finals taking on Lamar Odom, Sharif, and Kwame Brown. Listen, we got Scott Skiles on the team and that's all we need. Have you ever seen the hairline of Scott Skiles, he has superpowers with that hairline. Actually, it's false. We're losing. By superpowers, I mean if he shaved his head, he kind of just looks like a dwarf version of Jason Kidd. Either way, Scott, I'm trusting you to lead us back, okay? You shot six for 14. You're taking way too many shots.
Shane Battier should be the only person on this team taking shots. I want him to take 100 shots a game here. We win one. We're still down 3-2. It's a game six. Can we come back for a game seven in the NBA Finals? I mean, I think I'd consider Shane Battier no longer lame. If he made it all the way to the Finals, he might lose this game. I don't know. But with only two seconds left and the Hawks being up three, it's safe to say that this game is over and we have a game seven on our hands. Second NBA season, game seven, NBA Finals. Shane Battier proved to the world rise and shine to the top of the nba mountain you are destined to become an all-star not a lame player so can we like please beat the clippers this game's really close and i'm getting scared we're gonna jump in aren't we a little under three minutes to go game seven of the nba final shane battier 118 120 i feel like we haven't been able to jump into games very frequently on the channel so this is really cool to see sharif driving to the hoop is he gonna go score he's the sim jesus and he does and one luckily he bricked the free throw it's only a four-point game jim jackson getting crazy by the sidelines we got shane at the top of the key to scott skiles back to shane shane you got to play this game with your heart he is the leader of this team he's the best pie scott what are you doing what are you doing bud okay thank goodness for the rebound ellis going to put it back up can you get it to go no another rebound davis goes up and fouled i have no clue which davis that is but darius miles just fouled please make these shots are you kidding what are you doing it's game seven of the nba finals maybe the most important free throws of your career and you absolutely brick the first one. Derek Fisher is also on this Clippers team. He gets a beautiful screen wide open, goes to put it in, misses, but Darius Miles with the beautiful putback. Shane, you gotta come up clutch here. Your NBA championship dreams are coming to a close. They're gonna be gone very soon. What are you doing? Oh my God, he missed. He gets the rebound, he puts it back in, but can we just watch this first shot? He went to, did he get blocked? Oh, he got blocked, Never mind. I thought he hit the backboard and was an idiot. Derek Fisher guarded by Skyle. Skyle Styles is not anywhere near him. He pulls up. They get the rebound and they put it back in. Can we please get active on the glass? Like, why are we not active on the glass? Get your rebounds, bro. Down to Shane. Shane on Lamar Odom. Shane takes the layup. Shane misses the layup. Shane chokes it. And Ola Wakandi just got the easiest layup of his NBA career. It's wrap. Shane unfortunately lets us down in game seven of the NBA finals. He had 33 points, a rebound, six assists, but he did miss some crucial shots. Jermaine O'Neal is your finals MVP, and we are moving on to the next season. Guys, don't be scared, but Michael Jordan Jr. is about to be drafted. It took Gilbert Arenas three seasons before he ended up winning MVP. 32 points, 7 rebounds, 9 assists, monster numbers. LeBron! I completely forgot that LeBron was now in the league. I don't know how that slipped my mind, given he's the greatest player of all time, but he's here now. Rookie of the Year, Desmond Mason, 6th man of the year. This season, J. Cole made the All-NBA second team. 23 points, almost 10 assists, 2 steals. And don't you worry, Shane Battier is also here. All-NBA third team, 23 points, 11 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, and 2 blocks. The Rockets are the third seed, the Hawks are the second seed. There's a very good chance they face each other in the NBA Finals this year. And as soon as I say that, the Houston Rockets lose in six to the Jazz. But we don't care about J. Cole. The main focus of the video is Shane Battier, who unfortunately is probably going to lose in the Eastern Conference Finals as the Nets now have Allen Iverson and Tyson Chandler with Kenyon Martin, Keith Van Holt. Yeah, that team is loaded, dude. Game one is probably going to go to them along with game two, three, and four. Yes, I think we're about to get swept. Am I correct? Oh, I'm actually correct for once. The Hawks get demolished. And to nobody's surprise, Surprise, the New Jersey Nets are your NBA champions. Kenyon Martin is finals MVP, and Allen Iverson gets his ring. Sorry, Allen Iverson gets his second ring. I forgot they won a championship at the very beginning of the simulation. Kenyon Martin is your MVP. Yep, Kenyon Martin, 25 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks. Michael Jordan Jr., Rookie of the Year. I mean, I hope you'd be this good if your dad was Michael Jordan, but hey, I didn't expect him to be that good. Jason Terry, 6th man of the year for the Hawks. Shaq is now on the Grizzlies which is a very cursed image. I do not want to see that. Shane Battier did not make an All-NBA team a Jermaine Cole, though J. Cole, 21 points, 10 assists, 2 steals. But J. Cole is not as cool as Shane because Shane is a second seed. Yeah, that's right. Who's Lehman now, Jonathan? I don't know why I just called J. Cole Jonathan. I don't know why I thought J. stood for Jonathan, although I know it's Jermaine. Maybe Jonathan Cole is like 
his third cousin. Either way, um, I don't know what's happening to Shane. His overall's going up. His numbers are going down. I don't know if his team's getting better. I mean, they got Vin Baker. They got Jay Terry. They got Kenny. I mean, they have a really solid team. His numbers are going down, though. So, hey, as long as he wins a ring, I guess the numbers being pretty bad are fine. We have both Houston and the Hawks. They are both in the conference finals. We got Rockets and Nuggets, which is Kobe Bryant and Amari Stoudemire taking on Jermaine Cole. And then we also got that disgusting New Jersey team versus Shane Battier. I hate to say it, but I think Shane is going to get... I was correct. Shane got bounced. He's not going to the finals. Is Jay Cole going to the finals? Yes, he is. Let's be honest, though. Antonio McDyess and Jermaine Cole are not beating Allen Iverson and the MVP of the league. So it's safe to say that the Nets are once again your NBA champions. This time, Allen Iverson is finals MVP, and this team is like turning into a dynasty before our very own eyes. LeBron James wins MVP. That didn't take long at all. His third season. We all know what's about to happen. He's going to win this for the next 10 years. Chris Paul is your rookie of the year with the Pistons. Jason Terry, sixth man once again, killing it for us over here in Atlanta. Shane, what did you do this season? You didn't really show up anywhere. 22 points, nine rebounds. Where's the double-double gone? What is happening? The Houston Rockets got swept in the very first round by Gilbert Arenas and the Golden State Warriors, but the Hawks have fought all the way to the conference finals, once again going up against that New Jersey Nets team, who looks like they have have lost Allen Iverson. He's no longer on the team. All they got is Franchise and Ginobili. They also have former MVP and Kenyon Martin, but guess what? Shane Battier, he ain't lame. He ain't a loser. He's not a bum. He's not just a role player that plays behind LeBron James. He's Shane Battier, the NBA superstar. Game seven. All we need is Shane to take down the Nets. He goes back to the finals. Shane, don't let me down. He's gonna let me down, ain't he? 15 seconds left. 130, 129 Game seven Eastern Conference Finals. Shane currently has 20 seven points and 10 rebounds. So Batty is playing good in this game, but I need him to close it out. 15 seconds. The Hawks are down one. Whoever wins this goes to the finals and takes on LeBron James and the Memphis Grizzlies. Kenny Anderson has the ball dribbling it at the top of the key. Shane Batty guarded by Keith Van Horn posting up seven seconds left on the clock. Shane going fading. What is this spinning? Is he just going to go for a lane layup? No. Out to Jason Terry. Jason Terry contested three in and out. Why would you give up the shot to Jason Terry? Oh man, Shane. Once once again, you let me down in a game seven. Look at that Steve franchise holding up the Eastern Conference trophy. And I guess we just have to hope that Shane plays better next season because once again, he loses before he can get to the big one. The Hawks, they had an amazing season, but they couldn't get out of the Eastern Conference finals. Nets versus Grizzlies, LeBron and Kenyon Martin. And Kenyon Martin wins another championship and is your finals MVP. They've won four total NBA championships, now three in a row. Steve Nash. Nash wins MVP, averaging 32 points and 10 assists. He never averaged that many points in real life, but he did win an MVP, so I guess it makes sense. Bargiani, Rookie of the Year for the Knicks. Jason Terry wins another Sixth Man of the Year. He's killing it for the Hawks, man. At this point, just start him. He's too good. KG, Defensive Player of the Year? Sure, whatever. Shane Battier makes the All-NBA Second Team, averaging 24 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, and 2 blocks. It's been a while since he's been on one of these teams, so that's pretty cool to see. Michael Jordan Jr. made an All-NBA Third Team. Wow. Jermaine Cole, J. Cole, have you already reached the fall off? No, you actually had a great season. You are the eighth seed. You're not that great. You're just an average all-star type point guard. Whatever, Shane Battier, he's better. You know why? Because he's moving on in the second round and you aren't. Now we are going up against Carmelo Anthony, Jermaine O'Neal, and Richard Hamilton. I think Jermaine O'Neal won finals MVP a couple of years ago, so this could be scary. It's fine. We win in five. We're facing our fears, all right? It's not scary. Now we got Vince Car Oh my God, what? What? This is insane. This team is loaded. Jason Kidd, Vince Carter, and Pau Gasol all in their primes. And then you got old man Sean Kemp. Nah, it's wraps. We're losing this. We're losing. We lost in seven. I'm not surprised. Grizzlies. So we got LeBron versus Vince. I kind of hope that the Raptors win it. It's a battle of two teams that were slash used to be in Canada. And even in this universe, LeBron James still owns Toronto. Fun fact, if you don't like and subscribe right now, Dikembe Mutombo is going to spit in your next McDonald's order or whatever food you buy from a restaurant that you didn't cook yourself. Guess what? It doesn't matter where you buy food from. Next time you buy food, Dikembe Mutombo Jr. is going to spit in it if you don't follow, subscribe, whatever. Don't you guys just love the weird YouTuber plugs where we remind you to sub and like? Thanks. On a real note, I'm trying to hit 10k before May. So like I said, please subscribe, all that annoying YouTuber stuff. And we're just going to continue with the simulation. 
Hello, LeBron. MVP, 32 points, whatever. KD, Rookie of the Year, 25 points in the Timberwolves jersey. Shane Battier, Defensive Player of the Year. That's what I'm talking about. 27 points, 12 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, and 2 blocks. Speaking of J. Cole, he made the All-NBA second team, averaging 24 points, 6 rebounds, 11 assists, and 2 steals. J. Cole just had his best season. Shane just had his best season. Everyone's going crazy. The Rockets are the 8th seed, so I don't really care about them but the Hawks they're the third seed taking on Dwight Howard and Chris Kamen this should be an easy matchup for Shane they got nobody they got Dwight Dwight's not gonna carry them now we're in the second round we're going up against them New Jersey Nets who have been good throughout the whole simulation they're getting a little older they're not the same team they used to be but they're still the second seed so they could definitely beat us oh my god they just came back down 3-0 to beat us we just blew a 3-0 lead I can't believe that just happened but it happened the Bulls are your NBA champ and Sean Marion is your finals MVP. I'm still in shock that we blew a 3-0 lead. The Atlanta Hawks signed Allen Iverson in free agency this year. So now Shane Battier has a very good partner on the team. Then again, Jason Terry's been winning six man of the year for the last decade and he never started. I wonder if they would have won a championship if they decided to, I don't know, maybe start the dude who's putting up insane numbers off the bench. LeBron, once again, your MVP. D Rose, rookie of the year, six man Kyle LeBron, defensive player of the year. None of this matters. Where's our boy Shane? J. Cole's on the All-NBA second team, averaging 22 and 10 with two steals a game. But where is Shane? There he is. All-NBA third team, 22 points, 12 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks. Pretty solid numbers. And Michael Jordan Jr. is here. He's hooping. He's only averaging 18 points a game, but at least he's here. Neither team made the playoffs. Oh my god, no Hawks, no anything. This was a flop of a season. There's no Shane, there's no J. Cole, whatever. We'll simulate who's the champs, LeBron. Of course they are. I I think if they're both playing at the age of 35, I'm going to put J. Cole on whatever team Shane Battier is on. Let them be teammates for the end of their careers. And like I said, if we can get to 2016 in the simulation without them retiring, I have one more surprise in store. LeBron James, MVP once again. Curry, Rookie of the Year for the Pacers. Six minutes, Sean, LeBron, defensive. We got Kevin Love over it. Nobody cares. You came here to see Shane Battier, the man of the hour, the man of the minute, the man of the 16 minutes. That's my prediction. This video is definitely longer than 16 minutes but it's really freaky because i'm editing the video right now and i said that as i was at the 16 minute mark okay back to the video it was just really creepy had to point it out shane battier all nba second team 22 points 11 rebounds five assists two seals two blocks no j cole to be found i think he's fallen off right the rockets yep they're not even here the hawks are here but just barely they're the eighth seed i don't see us moving on nope we get swept by the cavaliers good for you yao ming and chris bosh you know what you guys can take that win go win a title you deserve it never mind the nuggets to they want to win an NBA championship. Tracy McGrady's there. Who else do they got? They got KG. Did God Sham God just win an NBA title before both J. Cole and Shane Battier in this video? Is that a world we live in right now? God Sham God's winning NBA champions? All right, 2K. In past videos, I've been overriding LeBron James when he starts to get too crazy with the MVP awards. He's won five straight. I don't know at what point I should just start pretending LeBron James doesn't exist. But either way, he wins another MVP. John Wall, Rookie of the Year, Sixth Man is Stephon. On Marbury, Russell Westbrook, most improved. Where is the players we care about? Where is J. Cole? I found Shane Battier. He's doing pretty good. 23 points a game, 11 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, and 2 blocks. And J. Cole is here as well, averaging 22 and 9. The Rockets and the Hawks both ended up being the 7th seed, but I don't imagine they're going to make it out of the... Did they just both... They just proved me wrong so bad that I stumbled over my words. They both make it out of the first round. How about the... What is happening? What is this... What is this NBA... Fine? What is this playoff simulation? What is going on? Why why is the 8th seed and the 7th seed on both conferences in the West? What is... So we got LeBron James versus J. Cole on one side, and then I think New York is Michael Jordan Jr., right? Yep. The four key members of this video that I feel like I'll remember after recording is LeBron, Shane, J. Cole, and Michael Jordan Jr. And somehow, against all odds, we have every single one of them in the conference finals right now. LeBron's gonna sweep J. Cole, ain't he? J. Cole gets swept by LeBron. No surprise. He's the MVP. Shane Battier versus LeBron. She Keel O'Neal is also on that Grizzlies team as a 79 overall. Drew Holiday is there and Antoine Jameson. You know what, Hawks? I believe in you. But that belief is probably ill-placed, right? Because LeBron is our father's. He owns us. Yep. LeBron James is Shane Battier's father. He's his dad. LeBron, another championship. Shane, I need you to win a title, bro. Shaq is finally retiring, so maybe we have a chance next season. But man, are they letting me down. The individual stats are cool. Don't get me wrong. You know, all NBA team.
team all-star. Shane Battier was the defensive player of the year, but I need championships. I need rings. I'm like your clingy girlfriend you've been with for eight years. You need to put a ring on it, Shane Battier, okay? Let's get married to the game, my boy. Listen, J. Cole and Shane, they're old at this point. I'm gonna let them team up, all right? They've been pretty dookie. They've been pretty garbage. And now we are just following the Hawks. J. Cole and Shane on the same team. Can they win a title together? Settle their differences. Finally, someone other than LeBron won MVP. KD 29, 8, and 7, and 2 for the Timberwolves. You'll love to see it. Jermaine Cole. Wait, both of them are here. I don't know why J. Cole's coming off the bench, but he is, and he wins six men of the year. 16 points, five rebounds, seven assists, and two steals. And Shane Battier is your defensive player of the year. 19 points, 10 rebounds, six assists, two steals, two blocks. I believe this is the second time he's won the award. So hey, he's racking up the accolades. Now we just need a championship. J. Cole and Shane Battier both did not make an All-NBA team, but obviously we're going to get Shane on the All-Defensive team because he won Defensive Player of the Year. The Hawks are the second seed. We're going up against Chicago, Chirac, but we don't care. We just, we got swept. We do care. Oh my God, Chirac just destroyed us. Sean Marion is him, quite literally. It was all Sean Marion who just beat us. Blake Griffin is Finals MVP with the Toronto Raptors. Yep, Blake Griffin. Also, the Western Conference Finals was spicy. KD versus LeBron. Oh my God, KD and Westbrook are on the same team? I know this is a video about Shane Battier, but man, dude, LeBron versus KD and Russell Westbrook in a seven game series must have went crazy. God Sham God retires from the NBA after being the greatest NBA player of all time. Great, he's back. LeBron James, MVP, AD, Rookie of the Year for the Lakers, where he plays in real life. How crazy, how funny. Kyrie, most improved in New Orleans. It's safe to say that the career of Shane Battier and J. Cole is practically over. Shane Battier makes the all defensive first team 21 points 10 rebounds five assists two steals i mean he's putting up really good numbers he's just very very old and not making all nba normal teams oh we also got michael jordan jr still here still balling the hawks are the third seed going up against the cleveland cavaliers are we gonna beat them this year yeah we do we beat them in five now we're gonna beat the bulls can we we do beat them in five look at that now we're in the conference finals never mind what was i saying about their careers being over at this point their careers just starting because they're finally gonna win an nba chip please please be the year please be the year right my wrongs that's the wrong phrase i meant to say prove me wrong not right my wrong either way atlanta hawks nba champions please thank you and finally after a long long time what is this 10 years in the nba now shane battier finals champion and mvp 28 points 11 rebounds six assists two blocks in the finals he was hooping we just beat d rose and kevin love they also had chris middleton vucevic we got conley they had a really solid team but we had none other than shane battier we also have j cole who put up 17 and 14 oh we got zach randolph to okay the team's cooking well i guess the career isn't over we could win more championships at this rate wow lebron wins another MVP. J. Cole wins another six man, 17 and eight. You love to see it. He's killing it. He's helping off the team. J. Cole's not going to be an all NBA player because he was a six man. I don't know what happened to Shane Battier. He wasn't there either. What he averaged this year? Only 19. Okay. His numbers are slowly going down, but he's not awful. He's still a 99 overall, which is kind of crazy. J. Cole has fallen off slightly. He's only an 87, but like I said, he just won six man of the year. He's still a huge part of the team. And we also have Joakim Noah. So it's safe to say that we are NBA champions in about 20 seconds can we beat cleveland in the first round i'd hope so we're the one seed what about chicago Chirac? last time i called them Chirac, they beat us not this time we win in seven how about boston beantown oh get swept first seed hawks versus eight seed dallas mavericks a free championship coming our way i hope so we're going up against james harden it's james harden when does he ever win in playoffs give me an nba championship in seven even and shane battier he doesn't need no all nba numbers because he has his second ring at the age of 35 he wins a second finals MVP, a seven game series nevertheless too. So it was not an easy title like I thought it was gonna be. 24 points, 10 rebounds, six assists, and three steals in the finals. Shane Battier, you are a god. You are the GOAT. Kevin Garnett's retiring. Goodbye, KG. Can 2K at least update his face scan so he doesn't look like 18 year old LeBron at the age of 30? Okay, thanks. I don't know why he's still winning MVPs. He's too cracked. Now that J. Cole isn't on the Houston Rockets, Jokic takes his place, wins rookie of the year. Speaking of J. Cole, sixth man of the year, 
once again, 16, 5, and 8. He's building up a resume to be the greatest sixth man of all time. Shane Battier's back, baby. All NBA second team. Excuse me? He bounces back in points. He increases his rebounds. Every number goes up. Shane Battier, he's back. It's time. He's the GOAT. We're winning another championship. I'm so confident. Simulate playoffs. We ain't losing to nobody. Nobody at all. Look at that. Oh, we lost. Oh, that's awkward. Well, we were doing really good until we ran into Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook, I think, is still with the Timber. Yeah, this big three's crazy. Studemeyer, Durant, Westbrook. You got Ennis Freedom on the team, the guy who kind of brings the whole team together as he is the best player here. Listen, we tried our best and we lost. It's fine. So it's the final season before the big twist of the video. Shane Battier, he's here 99 overall. He's still a GOAT at the age of 37. But J. Cole, somebody light the basketball hoop on fire because he has fallen off. Quite literally, he's awful. He's an 81 overall. But he's also a two-time champion and three-time sixth man. Is he going to win sixth man again? Who knows? This is his last chance to do so, though. Uh, yes, Lebronto has come full circle as he wins MVP with the Raptors. This man has nine MVPs. It's insane. All right, J. Cole is better than Jamal Crawford. He's the better JC when it comes to six mans of the year. 13 points, six assists. I mean, sure, they're not the best stats, but he just won three straight six mans and four total. He's the best bench player in NBA history. Even at his old age, Shane Battier is still a hooper. All-NBA third team with the Atlanta Hawks. 21 points a game, 11 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals, and 3. 3-0. Three I don't know why I went to say 3 there. That didn't make a lot of sense. We're playing Boston in the first round. Goodbye, Boston. Have fun. Hanging out at TD Garden and eating hot dogs or whatever you do over there. Oh, we beat the Pacers in 7. Word. What about the Magic? Oh, we beat them in 7. Awesome. We're in the finals against the Mavericks. It's a rematch with James Harden, and we lost so sad. And here we are with the surprise of the video. That's right, I'm simulating the 2016 season on NBA 2K16. Shane Battier is here. He's a 99 overall. We also got J. Cole as an 81. I did not remake every single team from the video that we're in the middle of right now. Quite literally, it's just J. Cole and Shane Battier on the Hawks, and the rest of the league is a fantasy draft. Also, yes, J. Cole is Tobias Harris's face scan because they look very similar. You're fine. Now, I mainly wanted to do this, obviously, because 2K16 has the song Rise and Shine where J. Cole calls Shane Battier lame, so I thought it was fitting. I figured, why not? Let's throw a throwback in the middle of the video. At the end of the season, Kevin Durant is your MVP. 32 points, 7 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks. Carl Anthony Town is your Rookie of the Year. George Hill, 6th man, Dwight Howard, Defensive Player of the Year. Let's be honest, this does not matter because it's not Shane Battier. He made the All-NBA First Team a 98 overall. I would hope he was that good. And he averaged very close to the same stats he's been averaging on 2K23 throughout the whole video. 24 points, 11 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 blocks, and 2 steals. J. Cole made the All-NBA second team as a 79 overall. 24 points a game with 8 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, and a block. Probably his best season in the entire video as a 79 overall in 2K16 is kind of crazy. In the first round, the Hawks upset Brooklyn. They were the second seed. I don't even know who they have. Who you got? You got Joe Johnson, Kyrie, and Jamal. That's an easy fight. Now, we're going against the Toronto Raptors, but they don't have LeBron James. They actually have Anthony Davis. But they were the seventh seed. We had the same exact record. As you can see, 47-35. Can we come on top? Can we win the game, please? We are down 2-1. Let's tie it up. Nope, we're not tying it up. And Shane Battier has been eliminated from the playoffs. And look at that. The Clippers, they're your champions. Isaiah Thomas, Kobe Bryant, Blake Griffin. Wow, what a great team. We're going back to 2K23. That was just a cool, fun, short intermission. I kind of want to do a career sim on NBA 2K16. A little throwback career sim so let me know if anybody would be interested in that and following that season Shane Battier would retire having one hell of a career his career high in points was 48 points in a single game he made 12 threes in a game at one point 25 rebounds 14 assists 7 blocks and 9 steals all pretty solid career highs honestly he was a two-time NBA champion 14 time all-star one time first team all NBA five time second team all NBA three time third team two time defense Defensive player of the year. I also believe he made the All NBA defensive team like 10 times. So who knows? Look at these career stats though. He played all 16 years with the Hawks, and obviously we don't have the stats from that one 2K16 season. But either way, these are his stats: 22 points, 10 rebounds, five assists, two steals, and two blocks. And like I said, over on 2K16, he averaged about the same numbers he's been averaging throughout this entire simulation. So honestly, it probably did not affect his career stats whatsoever. Now, J. Cole hasn't retired yet, but with no Shane Battier there's no J. Cole.
Cole, so I'm gonna end the video after we go over J. Cole's stats. He had a solid career with Houston, and then I made him go to the Atlanta Hawks just for funsies, played there for five seasons, became the greatest sixth man of all time. 20 points, six rebounds, nine assists, and two steals over the course of his career. Two-time champion, four-time sixth man, you see all the other awards there. J. Cole, like I said, had a pretty good year. His career highs were 46 points. Assist is nuts, 25 of those in a single game. He's putting it on passing clinics. Shane Battier does make the Hall of Fame. J. Cole sadly does not. Let me know if you think that J. Cole should have been a Hall of Famer. And that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, like up, and peace. Bye.